What's up guys, NBA Talk, today's April 3rd, 2017, Monday basketball for you. One game tonight, only game tonight, um, the Portland Trail Blazers versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. And also, sorry about yesterday, I was supposed to put out more videos other than the Celtics and Knicks game. Of course, we had the Utah Jazz game, and of course... The Pacers versus Cavaliers game that went overtime, double overtime. Pretty much the talked about of the night. Um, sorry, man. It's just WrestleMania was a big thing for me. I wanted to watch it. And it, it just ran a long time. Long time. I don't know why it did. Um, by the time it finished, like, you don't want to put out videos so late. Even though I do that a lot. But the amount I have to put out. At the late, I don't want to put anybody in so much trouble or just having you guys just see it so late at night, you know. Sorry. Um, so, I'm going to make over it. So, I'm going to start things off with this tonight only game. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves defeat the Portland Trail Blazers in a nail biter. Very much nail biter. 110 to 109 by one point. That was a very intense game. Um, it was a back and forth game. Um, both teams delivering some good stuff. But a key factor in this game was the uh, missing of the Portland Trail Blazers center, um, Nurik, um, who was out for two weeks with a um, leg injury. Um, so you won't see him for a while, which really damages... Um, yeah, the that it just damages the um, their chances of making the playoffs because I think they're pretty much the only team left in the West Coast that haven't gotten a permanent playoff spot. They're the eighth eighth spot. Um, the Nuggets are two games down from them, so the Nuggets still have a chance to make it. Very much. Um, yeah. yeah. Nurik was a very missing. He he was missed tonight because Carl Anthony Towns was doing so much work, so much work down low. He would have been great to face um Carl Anthony Towns, man. Nurik. But I digress. And also Andrew Wiggins went off too. Now so let's get into it. Um. Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves finished with 34 points, 12 rebounds tonight. Um, Andrew Wiggins with 29 points uh, and three rebounds. He shot three out of five from the three-point range. Um, Ricky Rubio, uh, Rubio, sorry, because I keep saying some people's names wrong big time. I do that a lot. So please, please check me when I say these things. Uh, Ricky Rubio. Um, 11 points, 16 assists, 7 rebounds. He's been doing good. He's He still is up and down in the shooting department, but his production is a little bit much better ever since Zach Levine went down. He's He's been getting more time with the ball because usually it's Zach Levine having the ball, Carl, uh, Carl Anthony Towns with the ball, and then, of course, Andrew Wiggins with the ball. It, like It's not enough in Ricky Rubio's hands. But now you have it in his hands now. So he's starting to pile up those assists. Uh, Brandon G Rush with 12 points, 7 rebounds. Uh, Dang uh, with 8 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 block shots. Um, Muhammad, 11 points off the bench. And that's pretty much it. The team shot 49% from the field, 44% for the three-point range. 43 rebounds, 23 six, 26 assists, 11 turnovers. So that's pretty much it for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers, Damian Leonard finished with 25 points, 6 assists, 2 steals, and 4 rebounds. CJ McCollum with 17 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Harkless with 17 points, 8 rebounds. Um, uh, Leonard, sorry. Damien Lillard, because I remember somebody in the comment section telling me that, like, I, I can't get these names right. Uh, Aminu, 
20 points, five re five assists, seven rebounds off the bench, 12 points from Allen Crabb. Evan Turner finished with six points, four assists, four rebounds. And that's pretty much it. 44% from the field, 35 rebounds, 24 assists, five turn turnovers only, which is pretty damn good throughout the entire night. Um, Portland still holds um, uh, the series, even though it's still not over. The Portland Trailblazers are 2-1 and one against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves and the Portland Trailblazers will face each other by the end of the week, pretty much, because the the second game, I believe, was postponed due to, the I think, a storm that happened up there. It will finish in Trailblazers' place, Trailblazers' home, TNT, so it's going to be on the big screen. That's pretty much it for tonight. Um, I'm hoping, hopefully, Trailblazers are going to hold on to that playoff spot. Um, they're projected to win that spot. But however, the Denver Nuggets, you don't know what's going to happen with them. They're up and down, up and down. Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans, they, I don't think they're not going to make it. They're going to be eliminated the next game. Um, Dallas Mavericks was recently eliminated. So Portland Trailblazers, come on, win this for us. Keep that spot. And of course, the East still got spots left. Lots of spots left. So peace out and good night.